A young girl rescues a crow from a well, only for the crow to suddenly revive and aggressively lunge at her. Unable to dodge in time, the girl's face is splattered with mud. Shortly after, the crow flies off, but shockingly, the girl's features vanish without a trace in an instant. Next, a black mud monster emerges from the well, crashing onto the ground. See, two eyes appear on the mud monster's form, and it staggers behind the girl. A man witnessing the scene swiftly pulls the trigger, shattering the creature. Simultaneously, a woman quickly intervenes, successfully rescuing the girl. However, to everyone's horror, the monster resurrects once more. Undeterred, the woman wields her blade, cleaving the monster in two. Yet, the creature's resilience proves extraordinary as it rises again, extending its long arms to tightly grasp the girl and stuff her into its body. The mud monster's form changes as it bites its own finger, then bounces back into the well, disappearing without a trace. This marks the eleventh girl missing from the town. In the dead of night, forces nay incessantly. The girl, holding an oil lamp, heads to the stables to investigate. She tenderly strokes the horse's face, but is unexpectedly ensnared by spider silk, struggling as it tightens around her until she's completely trapped. Suddenly, the horse lifts its front legs and swallows the girl whole. Hearing her screams, people rush out, attempting to rescue her, but the horse charges madly into the depths of the forest. Witnessing this, a woman hastily gives chase, followed closely by the demon hunters. However, they are soon intercepted by tree spirits. A wild wolf approaches the woman, but merely glances at her before departing. They continue onward, with Jack climbing the high tower, discovering the secrets of the magic book and the blood moon knight. Outside the tower, strange events unfold as a man, holding a toad, unexpectedly licks it. The missing girl slowly emerges from the water and will attempt to retrieve her, only to be confronted by a wild wolf, which instantly transforms into a werewolf. The werewolf retrieves the girl from the water, intending to offer her to the witch. Placing the girl on a stone, the werewolf adorns her with beautiful crystal shoes before feeding her blood to the witch, who promptly resurrects. Ted, fearful, tries to flee but is blocked by a mirror, which displays an illusion of the resurrected witch. Entrance in him, Will shatters the mirror, allowing Jack to snap out of it. However, under the blood-red moonlight, the witch regains her former beauty, and the demon hunters are controlled by her, attacking each other with knives. In a crucial moment, Will sacrifices himself to save Jack, but the witch, more interested in his looks, extracts a magic nail from the werewolf and thrusts it into Will's chest, making him her slave. Seeing this, Jack smashes the mirror with his head, causing the witch's face to shatter. The girl's father, who has regained consciousness, picks up the largest piece of mirror and jumps from the tower to save his daughter. Will tries to stop him but is dragged down with him as the magic mirror is destroyed. The witch quickly vanishes. The tower violently shakes before collapsing into ruins.